Notts County talk outside Medellin is finished. Notts County won, Chesterfield won. Um, how do you feel about that? It, it's an odd one to try and pick apart. Yeah, no, I, I think both teams really struggled today to break each other down. Uh, but I do feel like we had our chances. Uh, Wotton missed an open goal, really. You know, he just needs to head it down into the ground and it's a goal. Uh, I feel like second half, we were on top. We had our chances. Yeah, I, I, I am disappointed. I'm, I'm disappointed. I feel like second half, we could have won that game. Uh, but obviously, we haven't. But, you know, I think, I think to be honest, you take a point in, in a game like that, you know? Yeah, I think a point, actually, I think both teams would be happy with that. You know, we don't gain any ground on them. They don't lose any on us and vice versa. So, with the running we've got, you know, if we had a very, very tough run in, I'd have wanted desperate for the win. The point at the end of the day isn't the end of the world. So, yeah, I'm not too disheartened, but the way we went second half, we could have won. Let's go with Sam Slocum then, first off. Uh, give him a six. I, I, other than the goal, I can't really recall anything else that he's had to do too much. Distribution was a lot better yeah, today. His distribution was good. Uh, yeah, I'll just give him a six. I think that's fair. Yeah, I'm going to go six and a half. I mean, he couldn't do anything about the goal. Um, yeah, same with you. He's made a couple of a couple of saves, but nothing too taxing, so six and a half for me. Then go to the man of the match. I wouldn't have given man of the match, Jaden Richardson. I thought he was quite off colour today. I, I, I thought, I don't know. His decision making wasn't great today and it really showed um, and I think in that area we struggled a little bit but as much as he's had not the best of games for him personally he's still done okay uh, again I'm gonna go six. six I'm gonna go for a seven I'm gonna go a whole point higher than you I think he was all right I think he wasn't man of the match standard he used his pace well track back when he needed to he tried to try to um, cut inside quite a lot as well he's he's very one footed isn't he and that, he that's what sort of lets him down they were doubling up and blocking crosses from him but I think it was a decent performance against let's be honest that they're a good side yeah. they're a good side and he had Calvin Miller to deal with quite a bit we know he's a decent little player but kept him quiet yeah. today he did um, then go across to Kelly Evans yeah he's class um, you know you know what you get with Dion every game we, we we do a rating on Dion it's the same sort of thing and it gets stuck in um not as good as the last game, but still pretty good. Um, again, decision making could have been a little bit better. Uh, I think some of the passes to him could have been a lot better. Like there was times yeah. when he was open and just didn't get the ball. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, hundred um, percent. Gonna give Dion a seven. I, I thought he was a li little bit better than than Richardson today, but still, again, not not the best. But Chesterfield make it like that, you know? They're, they're a hard opposition to face. Yeah, I give it a seven and a half. I thought he battled really well. Right at the end, he goes flying into their striker. I don't know if it was Asante or who it was. Absolutely smashes into him. And it, you just think, that's that's Dion all over. Yeah, all over. Bread and butter stuff for Dion, that is it. It is, it is. Um, we'll then go, I thought, fantastic in that centre of defence, Rawlinson. Oh, oh, what a warrior. His head's on everything. I thought he was class. Honestly, I thought he was really good. Um, every time the ball's going, you know, to a header, you're just backing him to to get it away. Um, defensively, I thought he was class. I'm actually going to give him a seven and a half. I thought he was really good. I thought he dealt pretty well. I think it was Quigley that came on. He dealt really well with him, to be fair. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm going to go eight and a half. Quigley who? I don't know. I don't know which Quigley it is. I get them mixed up. Yeah, I, I think I might not even been Quigley, but I'm going to give him an eight and a half. I thought it was really, really good. Dominant as well. We need that fight in, in the centre of defence. Then go to Adam Chickson. Chickson. Uh, yeah, no, he was good. Uh, he, get, he brings that energy that he brings every game. Sort of offering the overlap for, for Dion on their left hand side. Couldn't give him a seven because I think he links up the play really well. Uh, like I say, with the overlaps especially. Uh, so yeah, seven for me. I, I can't really disagree with that. I think he's driving out of defence pretty well at times today. Again, against a side that are, are not going to let you do that as freely as Boreham Wood did on, on Tuesday night. So I, I'd agree with you waiting on that one. Then go to Alex Lacey, who I think has been fantastic since coming back into the side. Like, unbelievably. Yeah. Like, unbelievably good. He slotted in really well. I'm going to go for a eight for him. Extend that contract, I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to go eight. How many eight, years? Six. Seven, seven eight, eight, yeah. Nine. Whatever. Uh, no, he's, he's been class, really good. Uh, I'm impressed with him. You know, to say he's been ill, the shifts he's been putting in, you know, top class. Fair play to him. Yeah, very, very good performance. And those back three, the back three of the five, especially the three centre defenders, I thought were, were top class. Then going front, Harry Arter. Uh, a few people were saying that in the warm-up, he was sort of holding his hip flexor. 
uh, didn't look quite comfortable. There wasn't a, a, a mass amount of running from him today. I thought, I thought it was a little bit off, a little bit off. I mean, still does some really good things, but others maybe was trying too hard in this game. You're not going to get. We're not going to get a fantastic performance every time from Harry Arter when he's not played football for so long and he's just played three games in a week. So for me, I think six and a half. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I think I think he struggled a bit, a bit today. Whether it be you know, like you say, the hip flexor problem, or I don't know. I, I feel like certain times he was trying a bit too hard. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I don't. I don't really know. But I'm going to give him a five and a half. I don't. I don't think he was great today, to be honest. Five and a half. That is. That's a rating I didn't think I'd be hearing from you before kickoff, Harry Arter. But there we go. Um, I'm sure he'll be straight back in our next game. South end away, I think it is. Then go. We'll go Palmer. Uh, same old, same old from Palmer, and you, you always get that like sort of seven out of ten performance from him. I'm going to give him a seven out of ten. Yeah, yeah. Just the same, same, same old. Same old. I, I'd agree with you. Seven. He's a lot better in the advanced position when he dropped back uh, to cover Arta when Arta had obviously gone off. Wasn't quite as effective. Look, it's going to be very different to when we're scoring people in a few weeks when we're playing the likes of um, Dover, who were 5 2 up and lost 6 5 to Wrexham. It's going to be a lot different when, when we're doing games like that. This is a game where Knots aren't going to dominate at home. You know, it's 50 it's, 50 it's in the middle of the park. They're going to have to work. I thought it was decent as well, so I'm going to go 7. Then my, my midfielder of the match, if I'm going to make a new category, midfielder of the match, Frank Vincent. Yeah, good. You know. We say it week in, week out. The energy it brings is is, is brilliant. You know, he, he's always pressing. Uh, he's always providing that run. That pass is always on for him. Uh, he's class in here. I, I really do like Vincent. I uh, bought a couple of friends today also that you know pointed him out saying that he was a good player. I'm going to go seven. I thought he was really good. He must. Be, he's one of those players where I think oppos opposition players must be turning around and thinking, I've lost him again. Yeah. Like yeah. he's he's gone again. He's yeah. he's really really good. Brings that energy. So for me. I go seven and a half. Yeah, I go seven and a half. Yeah, so that's fair. I'm going seven. So who next? Uh, let's go, Ruben. Uh, again, energy. We just th talked about that with Vincent. But yeah, his energy is class. Closing down, great. Um, it's difficult because I don't feel like he's had masses of time on the ball today. You know, they've been really onto him, aren't they, Chesterfield? So I give him a seven. I give him a seven. I'm gonna say two words about. Ruben and it's final ball yeah yeah and it's not necessarily the quality of final ball it's the choice yeah it always seems to be to his left it really does maybe I'm just picking something out there but there's a lot of time this is what I was talking about earlier with Dion where he's just wanting the pass and he just doesn't get the pass and there's chances there there's more chances he doesn't always have to drive into the box he can take his time a little bit so I think he was good it's got to be that final ball. I'll go seven for Ruben. And then we go to Carl Wharton. This is going to be the most contentious one. Scores the penalty. Nice penalty. Yeah. Slots it away. Yeah. The miss. The miss. Yeah. Un unfortunately, as much as it's great that he's got a goal, that's the defining moment for me. Um, you know, it's a split second moment. You know, he's got to be ready to receive it and head it in. And yeah, it's difficult. But as a striker, for me, you have to score those chances. It's the difference. You know, it really is the difference. And it's, it's it's so frustrating. It's it, it's difficult as well to rate him. I mean, I mean for me it's seven because you know his work rate is fantastic. I agree, seven. Yeah, he, he scores the penalty, um, but he has to has to has to put that chance away for me. That's why if we feel a little bit dejected, if you weren't at the game, you'll understand when you see the highlights of the miss. Is it should have been a Knotts victory on that? I mean they've had chance they've hit the post, but. That's that. I hope that's not a defining moment of where we finish in the playoffs. So, yeah, I hope so as well. I mean, I really do hope so. We we just need that bit. It, it, it's the same again. You know, you you turned to me and you said, you know, that's our season summed up. We're just not clinical enough in front of goal again, are we? And it's cost us. I mean, it's not cost us. You know, we got a point, but I feel like we could have got all three today. Definitely, could have got all three. Still a good result. Well, then goes to the subs. I want Jim O'Brien back on the pitch. It's great to see him back in it. First time in a long time back on the pitch and you know what he was he could have given away a penalty um, he, he was quick to everything yeah. he was aggressive he's exactly the sub we needed actually yeah it, it doesn't look like he's lost any of that sharpness you know he, he looked like he was you know straight in I'm, I'm back at it you know it doesn't look like he's been out for as long as he has been uh, so credit to him he's not been on majorly long I'm just going to give him a six I'm going to give him a seven I, re I really like the energy ball and then finally Ed Francis who I'm not going to be able to actually um, rate 
No, I agree. You can't rate him. He, he, I mean, what's he had? Like three or four touches of the ball? Yeah. Yeah, can't, can't rate him. Yeah. Um, didn't get to see Eli, didn't get to see Aaron Demand or Graham. Uh, would have liked to have seen Eli given that he scored at Chesterfield, but there we go. Uh, it's a point it, in the grand scheme of things, it's probably a de well, it is a good point against a promotion rival. Um, this league is crazy, so there's going to be a lot more twists and turns for the end of the season. If you have enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, comment your thoughts and subscribe to the channel.